10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Over many years, scientists and engineers have been working together to create several pieces of technology so that humans can explore space. Technologies such as rovers, satellites, and probes are all inventions they've created in order for us to travel space safely. Space travel is important to people all over the world, from exploring to moon to theories of life on Mars. Space exploration innovates and gives us other information to other technologies rather than just itself. The exploration of the Mars rover is an ongoing space mission involving two rovers known as Opportunity and Spirit, both exploring the planet Mars. The total spending cost for the mission was about $820 million. The mission started in 2003 when NASA launched Spirit on June 10th and Opportunity on July 7th. The rover's mission objective was to search and examine a wide range of rocks and soil that may hold evidence to past existence of water activity on Mars. Both rovers are made of carbon composites, titanium and aluminum, as well as about 700 electrical components such as cameras placed in several parts to capture what was being examined, solar arrays that were specially designed to collect the sun's energy, solar cells that are tasked stacked in three layers on the rover's solar arrays to absorb more sunlight and supply more power to the rover's rechargeable batteries. After the mission, ro the rovers both successfully completed their tasks, allowing scientists and engineers to assign more missions. On the fourth mission in July 2007, a dust storm cut occurred, and blocking sunlight to the rovers and harmed the ability of the spacecraft to gather energy through their solar panels, causing scientists to have fear that one or both of them might be permanently disabled, although luckily the dust storm stopped, allowing them to continue operations. Soon the Mars rover will be on missions to other planets. Robotics is used all over the world, whether you believe it or not. They're even being used to perform surgery, help the disabled, and even drones to fly over enemy territory and attack enemy troops. One popular example of robotics are satellites in space. One of these satellites is known as the Galileo satellite. On October 21st, 2011, were created the first two or four satellites that validate the Galileo concept. Later, two more followed on October 12, 2012. This validation is now being followed by additional satellite launches to reach initial operational capability, IOC. The Galileo satellite is a European global satellite-based navigation system in space used to provide a highly accurate guaranteed global positioning service under civilian control. The way the satellite works is it pinpoints your coordinates on Earth from space and sends it to the, your GPS, then does the same to the location destination you want to go. The Galileo satellite is more than just one satellite but many. Basically the Galileo is a system provided with various satellites. It planes over 23,222 kilometers altitude above the Earth. Once the Galileo satellites reach the IOC phase, the open service search and rescue and public regulated service will be available with initial performances. This piece of technology will be helpful later in the future thanks to its global tracking system. October 4, 1957, the purpose of Sputnik was for the density of the upper atmosphere could be deduced from its drag on orbit and the propagation of its radio signals given information about the ion sphere. Sputnik had a 23-inch diameter polished metal sphere. To be more specific, it was the size of a baseball. It had four external radio antennas to block the sphere. The head of the captain of Sputnik was propelled. 